What is going on all you lovely people? Thank you for tuning in to One Be It Wednesday. Today I have a four inch ridge tail twin tail grub in summer craw and bluegill. Today I want to show you how I rig the ridge tail twin tail grub up four ways. Number one on a jig, number two on a wobble head, number three on a football jig head, number four on a cool 5 16 tungsten weight. Are you ready? Let's jump in. Number one on a jig. I will surely be throwing this tomorrow. Small bait, small profile, dipped in some glow, and this will work freaking amazing tomorrow. I pinched off about three quarters of an inch of that bait and threaded it on, slide it up, that skirt will flare out and make a nice little package for them to munch on for sure. You can throw on a football head jig. This is a one odd three sixteenths ounce football head. Very, very small very very finesse when they want to be finicky and you want a small hook and a weight to get it down there this right here look at that it just rolls right back over throw on the bottom really nice that hook keep right there it's nice so what we want to do is thread that on and we want to go a little bit before halfway around so right about right about here when that bait gets to there right there you want to pull that hook out thread it through and up and on that keep that is a nice little smally freaking slammer you can put some Spike it on there, some JJ's magic or whatever you like. That right there will for sure catch some fish. In the cold, very, very small, uh, minimal action bait. Not really gonna get a whole lot of movement, but in the winter months, you don't really want a bait that moves super fast um, when you're on the bottom. So this, you can just kind of hop it along and it will be phenomenal. All right, so number two. Now we're on to number three, a wobble head. So just like a T-Rig, you wanna bring this, this is a very, very small um, 3 16 ounce wobble head. So take that twin tail grub. You want the hook right in the middle bright color on top so we're gonna go down to the bend right pull it out thread that baby down through and then grab the bottom where the hook meets the bait the bottom of the hook and put it right through there so it's completely completely weedless and then when you tie it on palm or not I was tie a or not. And you can throw this out there on shore, on points uh, along the bank. If you're on shore, throw it parallel with a shoreline, hop it. That weight will stay down on the bottom, and that bait has the freedom to move however it wants. Okay? A really, really good way to keep contact with the bottom, but also have that movement when you want it. So, number three. Number four, the old T-Rig. I'll show you that. And then, tomorrow, we are gonna get out on the water and throw the jig and the T-Rig. So, T-Rig. I have a bobber stop. Now, I know you may not wanna use a red or a yellow. But the cool thing is, 
you can always go back and color that with a permanent marker so it will be black. So I have the Bobber Stop 14 pound mono. Uh, I will be throwing on shore. Uh, not really a whole lot of weeds, so I'm comfortable with 14 pound. I'm not going to be flipping. So there again, I'm, I'm comfortable with throwing 14 pound. So there again, just like the wobble head, you want to thread that baby on. Thread that baby on to the bend of the hook. Pull it out. Turn it around. Cover up that knot and the eye. And throw that in there. Nice and flush. This is a three-aught hook. Then slide our weight down and our bottle stop. And then we have a bait that is ready to rock and roll. You can dip that baby in some spike it or the magic, whatever you prefer. But this right here will be one of my hardcore go-to baits in the winter, for sure. When I go out to Lake L, something small and finesse like this is going to be key. They can see it, it doesn't really move around a whole lot, and just enough flash so they can find it and they can eat it. Thank you for tuning in to the four ways that I like to rig up this Rage Tail Twin Tail Grub on a jig, a T-Rig, a wobble head, and a football style jig. We'll see you out there on the water tomorrow.